this is the second part of the first flight and now we will go a bit further and we'll fly to the winds to the fissures uh, to the north from where the lava is coming from see how beautiful patterns are being formed uh, during those uh, spillovers lava is going both sides also in the direction of uh, Merandalir to the northernmost edge of Merandalir you see it's spilling also that side all around Little Hrut nice mountain here that you see to the left is called uh, Little Ram or Little Hrutor in Iceland Hrutor is a ram and you see this uh, lava is traveling from the main fissure just in straight line uh, all the way south because it goes downhill, you see, and that's why it's going south by the loss of nature, just downhill. And now we are coming closer to the winds. You see, there are numerous winds. It's hard to call it just one wind, it's just one line of winds. And they are kind of separated in two parts. Here you see a line of winds the southern one and there is a northern group of uh, winds this is the southern fishing line and it looks like a very long bathtub full of lava that is bubbling from it you know and walls of course are growing they're getting bigger and bigger, and I presume tomorrow morning uh, the territory flooded by the law will be three times bigger than this. So those are the first uh, sightings of the volcano. Now we are coming all the way to the north, and you see the northern lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven at least of them. You see, and small volcanoes are building up around them as you see and this is as far north as you can get there's nothing more further north but you see where the flatland is there but it's kind of uphill that's why lava is going down the other direction uh, so it's going to the south but eventually the directions might change because once the southern bathtub is flooded, it will start spreading the other direction. See how many smokes from moss fires, those blue smokes all around is burning moss. Because it's, it's just so much moss all around this area. It's just like a sponge. You walk on the sponge, it's kind of hard to walk on this moss terrain all over. It's not rocky terrain, it's a moss terrain. And we're going to have the, those moss fires all the time around uh, this lava field because moss is going to burn and now we have a lot of moss because it's warm and it's summertime in Austin and, and it's lots of vegetation uh, even in the, in the moss land we have this one so it's all burning and depending on the wind direction uh, they might close the area so that people wouldn't ha get harmed. I saw a lot of people with oxygen masks, but mm, very few were actually. Most were without masks, just been perhaps good half of people were foreign tourists from various countries, even from Israel. So, so this is how it looks. We'll see another video soon.